I wanted to share an update about methylene blue. So methylene blue is getting a lot of attention. It is being used uh, in a couple of different contexts in chronic Lyme treatment. It's been used to help with persister cells, particularly for Bartonella, or of Bartonella. Um, and it is being used in conjunction with rifampin, azithromycin, some of the other Bartonella medications. Um, and so, and then the second context is for mitochondrial support. So it's being used for um, production, healing the mitochondria, being able to produce more ATP, therefore get more energy, clear our brain, all, all the good things. So here's the thing though, what I found is when we started, when I started using methylene blue, I was starting with doses of like 25 milligrams once a day, 25 milligrams twice a day. And that was very much in line with what Dr. Horowitz was recommending. And the compounding pharmacy I was getting it from, that's the lowest potency they would make. That was actually the only potency that they were compounding. And what I was finding is there were a few people that just weren't tolerating it. They were getting way overstimulated, like they'd had 10 cups of coffee, not in a good way at all. We were just really wired, jittery, shaky, and were not able to tolerate it. And so I have now found a pharmacy here locally, actually to me in San Diego, um, that is compounding methylene blue in five milligrams and 10 milligram potencies. And I'm finding a lot, I'm finding that a lot easier for patients to tolerate and I'm getting better results with it. So if you're struggling with methylene blue or haven't been able to tolerate it, maybe it's a question of needing to find a lower dose and being able to start more gently and let the body acclimate. So I'm really liking like either a five milligram twice a day or a 10 milligram twice a day dose.